sure many of you are very familiar with how social media works, how groups on online spaces work. It's so interesting that, and this is not affiliated to any partnership or anything like that, but I wanted to specifically zoom into this um, WhatsApp groups that you know many of us, especially here in Africa and also in Kenya, are a part of. And unlike very many other social media platforms like Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or TikTok, whenever you leave those social media platforms, nobody will get to know per se that you have left, you know. But in our WhatsApp group, you'll see that some, it, it actually indicates that so-and-so has left. But at least this time around, there's a feature where only admins can see who has left the group. But either way, there's still that bit and that feature that shows so-and-so in this WhatsApp group has left the group. And it just made me realize how not just leaving a group, that's a setting where you're in a social media space, you're in an online group. But have you ever asked yourself or whenever you look at groups like in workplaces or whichever groups and when people leave those groups, their presence or their lack of presence can be felt, especially if they were people of influence and not just influence, but positive influence because there's positive influence and there's negative influence. And today I had the privilege and opportunity to be part of a farewell for one of our amazing pastors here in Sitam, Reverend George Morishu. Shout out to you, Rev. And we were doing his farewell, and um, many of us had an opportunity to just chat around the table and do a reflection of how our impact, how he has impacted our lives. And at that particular moment, it, I, I sat there and I asked myself, what would people say about me when I left a group? <laughs> I don't know that that's correct English. But if I ever left a group, what would people say about me? And it drew me to Matthew chapter 5, verse 16, which says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. This verse shows us that there are two things it talks about, light and it talks about good deeds, that let your light shine before others. And it means that every one of us has a light that God has given us a privilege to shine to people. But this is more so in the context of Christianity because Jesus Christ is light. And when we receive Christ who is light, then we receive his light. And this is the light that we are talking about. He's the one who helps us to illuminate our light, to shine the light of Christ, to shine his light to the people and the groups around us and the communities and neighborhoods that he has placed us in. And he continues to say that... Um, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. It shows us how every one of us, wherever God has placed us in a community, in a group, in a neighborhood, God is giving us an opportunity to show good deeds. And so this is just to ask you, we are now down to towards the year, we are getting into the, we've actually gotten into the last um, quarter of 2024. Have you shown a good deed towards someone around you, towards a group you're in, towards um, in the community that you are in? And the essence of us having to show this good deed is just simply because of one reason. So that the people that we are serving with or the people that are around our community or the people that are around the group we are in can glorify our Father in heaven, that they will see us and they will see the light of Jesus in us. They will see us and they will see the good deed. They will see that truly this is a servant of God. Truly this is a child of God. Why? Because you show and you emulate the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the fruits of the Holy Spirit with his help. And so this is a video just as it challenged me in that particular point when I was seated on that boardroom around the table. Um, this video is to challenge you also. Is there that one? What will people say about you when you leave a group? What should people say about you when you're transitioning from one season of your life to another? Are they going to say that you shone your light? Are they going to say that um, they saw your good deeds and they're able to glorify God who is in heaven? Or did they see bad deeds? And, you know, sometimes also in group settings, it's very easy to rub shoulders with people. It's very easy to um, to be find yourself in a conflict or, or uh, so and so and something of the sort. But... God has given us an opportunity for reconciliation, to reconcile. And so if there's a place where you know that there are a few shoulders that were brushed or a few fences that you need to make, you were, were, were broken, this is a challenge to you. 
um, that you should go ahead, you know, and reconcile with those people so that your Father in heaven can receive all the glory. That's just about it, so that God in heaven can receive all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please go ahead and share it with your loved ones. Share it with somebody um, out there. And uh, also place it on the comment section. I mean, you can write on the comment section how it has impacted you, how it has challenged you. And looking forward to hearing from every one of you. Please connect with us on our social media platforms right here on CTAM Church Online, Facebook, X, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. Until next time, God bless you.